Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everyone else who is binary or non-binary, and everyone else in between, to a relaxed Saturday, I'm um, Saturday, Friday episode of Ted Spoo Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Sorry about forgetting what day of the week it is. As you can kind of guess from the whole lockdown thing at the moment, you kind of tend to lose track of what day of the week it is, so that is happening to me a little bit. So I'm having to set myself reminders to record these episodes every week, just to make sure I don't go completely do lally because I like doing these plus it's also a good set reminder of like oh it's the weekend now I have to record a couple of episodes of Ted's Boosler so hopefully I won't forget what day it is in tomorrow's episode but we'll wait and see so today we're taking a look at a drink that I have tried a different version of before but I can't remember if I've tried this version before now I'm talking about Efez the Turkish beer, and I'm pretty sure it's Turkey's most exported beer. It's very nice. It's kind of like a cross between Peroni, Mythos, and um, San Miguel Fresca. Now, it's very sort of light, crisp, but it's got a sort of like a malty finish to it as well. And we're today taking a look at Efe's Draft, spelt D R A F T. So, not the way we spell it in the UK, spelling it. D-R-A-U-G-H-T and yeah I can't remember if this is the same Efez uh, that produces the Efez that's exported the most out of Turkey but it says it is the Mediterranean beer and it's got a sort of pretty standard strength of alcohol content for this kind of beer from that part of the world from you know the eastern Mediterranean it's only five percent so it's strong-ish, but it's not too strong, but it's not too weak at the same time either. And it says, uh, the Mediterranean beer, fresh, fresh draft beer taste in a bottle. And it says, expertly brewed for a light hoppy aroma and a refreshingly smooth rich taste, just like beer fresh from the brew house tap. So, I'm looking forward to this. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say much else apart from that on the bottle, which I like. You know, it's very simple, gets to the point. I quite like the design of the bottle actually. It sort of like has this funny sort of like uh, wooden casket sort of design on the label, which I quite like. It does give you the impression of it being a caskety beer. Um, I don't know it could be a little bit more simpler and and um, you know sort of a bit more stark and striking. But I, I like the design of the bottle nonetheless. The actual shape of the bottle itself is really lovely. So yeah, I'll give it a um, I'll give it a seven point five out of ten for the design of the bottle and label and all that. But let's give ourselves a little sniff of it to see what it's, our first impressions are, hopefully. Oh, wow. Yeah, immediately you just get a really strong, malty, lager sort of smell. Very Eurocentric sort of smell with, um, obviously, a very sort of Mediterranean sort of sense to it. It's it's a very sort of strong, lagery tasting smell, but it smells just like what you'd expect from something like this. So... Yeah, uh, 9 out of 10 for the smell. It smells very striking and it's quite a nice European Mediterranean lagery smell that makes me think of sitting down in the Turkish restaurant and ordering some lamb shish kebab. So let's actually taste it and see what it's actually like. So, bottoms up. Mm. It's funny, when you swallow it down initially, there's this maltiness and this sort of like rich, lagery, eastern Mediterranean taste. But then the finish of when it hits the back of your throat, it's like very light, crisp and re refreshing. It's like not like the initial taste really much at all, apart from like the underlying beery, lagery sort of taste. But no, it's, it's nice. It's very refreshing. It's way lighter than I thought it was going to be, actually. I thought it was going to be quite hearty and malty and it is a little bit but no it's very nice and light and refreshing and yeah very very crisp as well i'd say it's probably it probably tastes like a cross between fa's mythos san miguel sol and 
there's a tiny bit of like the aromaticness in um, draft Cronenberg in there as well. So it's got it's got a distinct and interesting mix of flavors in there, but they all come together pretty nicely. It um for some reason it doesn't go down so easily. So like either you have to just sip it in very tiny amounts, or you really do have to glug it. But um, so I feel like perhaps the texture could be sort of like a little bit smoother. Um, but it's still nice. I would still be more than happy to go out of my way to get this for myself again. And I mean, it is fairly smooth, so it's not like it's like really hard to swallow down. It is like nice, palatable, balanced flavour. Um, if I remember correctly, I think I got this for about three quid from the Wine Barrel Liquor Store in Brighton and Hove. I might be remembering that slightly wrong. It might be a little bit below or below, above that price, but it's worth every penny because it is actually really nice and refreshing, and it's got quite a distinct flavour that's simple enough that you can enjoy it in most circumstances. This is probably good as a relaxation drink, uh, a chit-chat drink, meal drink, sesh drink, pre-drinks drink, possibly even as a cooking drink as well. So, yeah, I would really recommend this. I'm going to give it... an 8.25 out of 10. I think it just misses out on being an elite level category just because I think it could be slightly smoother in terms of texture and a bit easier to go down at the back of your throat. But still, well worth the price. More than happy to go out of my way to get some of this for myself again in the future. And I would definitely say it's a buy and I'd recommend it for not just beer drinkers but for most alcohol drinkers as well. So yeah, give this a shot if you're interested. And uh, yeah, as always, if you like this video, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for this video series, as well as any others on this channel, leave your suggestions in the comments section below. And if you're interested in any of my other online, you know, ne'er-do-well activities, check out my social medias and YouTube channels, or other YouTube channels, in the video description below. And until next time, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, drink responsibly, know your limits, wash your damn hands, Take care of your family, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.